talks to the big ones. So, still no words then. Vanya says something random in Valerian, like, what's he saying? Uh, Alaric, like, shrugs. Like, he doesn't know what you're saying, so he just shrugs. Looking at Bree. <laughs> Across the sea, huh? Bree, you check. From Mir or Bravos or one of those places. You talk to them. Bree, like, looks up at the oaf, says, I don't speak uncouth. He sort of frowns and says, oh, you should watch your tongue. And he uh, he switches to uh, to low Valerian. Oh, shit. <laughs> he, he says, so it seems that uh, there are people here from home then, yes? Well, mm. as much home as any place can be. By chance, you served during the skirmishes of the uh, disputed lands? Ah, that I did. You're from across the sea also, I suppose. And this has served there for a few years. Yes, the company entirely. Many good soldiers come from there. The landers does pay best, though. What is Miles? Better than merchants, surely. I see. Bree gives like a panicked look between the two people speaking this uncouth language. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good business. We get to acquire a little bit from instance, a foolish traders. We get to get good pay. And there's really not much challenge in it. Bit of a pension to speak of. You come work uh, for us. We can find a good hire for you further inland. They're going to go raid, burn down Dururun. Lots of plunder to be had, I'm sure. A little too old for that sort of thing now. Already got the money I need to retire, but... Well, this is you. A little younger than I, perhaps. Uh, Varen uh, frowns a bit and uh, just says, If you have business, you should take it with my young master here. Not the reason I run says uh, Sith merchant from Westeros hiring mercenaries from across the sea to protect silk going to Lannisport. What what is this really? What do you mean? Is there more in this cart? You can shake it if you want to. There's no one does this much just for so little. No one has the wealth for that. Uh, your work is probably worth more than all this silk. I don't presume to question. I must here. Spits. Hate your types. A little plunder and you go all broke. Is that why you left? Didn't like the plunder of Mir. Smile slightly. That was a good one. You weren't there. No, I was not. She said, oh, you missed it all then. <laughs> Maybe that's why you work for silk merchants. Why I work for the lions. She smiles. Well, of a sort. Well... Perhaps it's time that you should return then to the lowlands to to kiss your silken master. We'll be taking it from here. As just I said switches, before. Uh, which is back to uh, to Westeros. He says, uh, seems like your little friends here are a bit more stoic than most. Bree smiles at that. Mm, no. <laughs> it looks at them. Says, How loyal do you think they would be when faced with all of this? He sort of gestures his hand to the, uh, like the the mountainside where you then hear like the, the 
like, I guess, like the bushes are like pushed out of the way and such to reveal all of the loaded crossbows pointing down at you. Bree looks up <laughs> as she had not noticed them. Uh, part of the truth comes in where she like visibly recoils. <laughs> Uh-huh. And then uh, look up at the two. <laughs> this can pierce a breastplate at a hundred feet. Looks up. They're not a hundred feet away. Sound you. Perhaps this better better be lost to Iron Man raids. No, looks to the silk. Perhaps your father would understand that better. You escaped with your life, luckily. We can make it believable, says. So giving you an evil grin. A few oh. bruises. I'm sure the big ones can take care of that. Oh, well, um, that certainly does change my bargaining position. <laughs> Funny, yes. Ooh. Is the uh, the five silver stacks still on the table? Spence says, I am afraid wartime's prices fall. Iron men are not in the habit of paying, are they? Would make the story a little less believable. Don't worry, it's no worse a deal than many others have had. Oh. Many others who don't like the uncouth people who come over here to save them from their own incompetence. Oh. Well, with wartime prices, I don't know how much that will help you either. Three hundred gold dragons of silk might turn into a whole lot less. Roxanne says, yes, perhaps, but the expenditure for me acquiring it is... Yes, it turns out very low. Huh? <clears throat> okay. Do you uh, perhaps suggest something else? Um, players, what you think? I think we should just start waiting um, on this dude. <laughs> I'm ready to shoot. Okay. Then, uh, and Bree will say. Perhaps I do have one final counter offer, uh, and that will certainly begin combat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am altering the deal. I think, I think because it's Bree, she will probably get to uh, to act first there. Uh, God doesn't know what happens because he doesn't that. expect her to do anything. Mm, yes. Uh, yes. Bree will yeah. then, you know, step out perhaps to get those bruises. You know, extending her hands. Uh-huh. She'll hug him. Right. Yes. Hugs. You get hugs. <laughs> Is he surprised? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Okay. That's good. Just wanted to make sure. Surprised by all the hugs. Yes. You know, figured that he might appreciate being perforated with crossbow bolts. So, figured I would offer that to him. Um, let's see here. That's that. I almost forget how to do these things after all this time. 32. I yep. will just add everyone to initiative. Okay. I'll... Only one of these colored people each. Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I did roll a 5-6 before, so... Yeah. I mean, like, it's... like you've been like readying yourself for, like the past five mm-hmm. minutes. Like, I will shoot these motherfuckers. Yep. I will shoot these I'm aiming. It's every everything's going down. I have surprise. It's gonna all be the, bloody man. All those crossbowmen who have their shields slanted downwards, be like, yep. what? <laughs> Just gonna hit them, them in all the right. side. Basically. Let's see here. Let's see here. Then these these surprise attacks you get before we actually start Sweet. combat. You get the um, right? Yes, on the initiative. Um, oh, could you just build me too? deal with this attack here. Let's see, 32 certainly hits. Uh, that would be 4 degrees with no real issue. <laughs> okay, that's uh, then 28 points of damage. Uh-huh. And then also there's a key shooting for also 4 degrees. 
Oh. I'm not shooting, though. That was my initiative oh. check. Oh, damn. Okay, sure. I can shoot, well, though. If, uh, I, if I get three he, shots, he, I'll do it. He, he, 28 damage will kill him. If okay. Uh, Bree uh, doesn't wish to kill him. Uh, Bree wants to uh, grab him and sort of, like, in surprise... And like a swift like blow to like his chest so that he's wheezing in pain and like spin him around and like grab him so that the taller individual is like like presented with like her hand around his neck and says maybe you can take crossbow bolts a bit better than my silk and uh, <laughs> uh yeah like i'm gonna shoot like so and then put him to be disabled uh yeah uh, we'll just the first do time initiative. You'll probably act first, though. But uh, let's do this. Can you add ramp? Uh, okay, testing, testing. There? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Is Kiwan in there? Uh, no. Oh, you're not. Nope. Okay. Now you can okay, add yourselves. Yeah, testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello. Hi. So gonna... Hello. As I am now te technically back. Okay. Right. Just in what time for tea. Combat? I'm, I'm, slight, I'm slightly concerned. Why? Is, I, uh, why I are we want you. Combat? I need you to run up this hill and engage these crossbowmen. Uh. <laughs> well, but but you 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 just you just end up being a you know a rocket up there and it's fine. <laughs> okay, that's slightly good. <laughs> mercenary pikemen, mercenary crossbowmen. <laughs> Dead mercenary. I'd say we'll. Good work, so, Baron Flowers. <laughs> yes, yes. Always goes so well. Mm -hmm. Baron is, is right. too. It's not awareness. Yes, yeah, it's agility. Baron yeah. Flowers is too busy, like, blown away, like, shit, I thought they looked like mercs. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I saved the veteran mercenary so that you could pluck out his eyes. <laughs> I'll fall for well, no, Oh, gonna... bonding. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You understand mercenary life best. <laughs> it's only the ones I kill. So well, nah, he's still kill. alive. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm fresh. I am yes. not going to kill you. <laughs> Surprisingly, Q and X uh, act uh, right after he sees Bree do this. I did shoot two arrows, uh, one each of the closest crossbowmen, who probably have their shields pointed at the party, not at me. Uh, so he got a, number seven and number four. He got a sum of twenty-three and a sum of twenty-six. Just scroll up to that. So I make it a little easier when I have that nice overview of. Uh... Uh, that's that's twenty three against the nearest one. Uh, would give you delicious two degrees. Okay. Uh, then that is indeed uh, fourteen damage. Right. His uh, his breastplate will take some of that. Uh, but that. Uh, actually, doesn't really matter because 14 is enough to kill him. Sweet. And so the, and the next is... one would also die, as it turns yep. out. Thump, under thump. cover. Yeah. Just drawing two arrows and like shooting them as they just like collapse down. They're prepped up nicely enough behind some some like improved cover <laughs> there that they basically stay in place. Even as they're dead. <clears throat> uh, you'd think almost immediately, but apparently you have an archer who's faster. Uh, their, their crossbow bolts loosen against their, their selected targets. Surprisingly, none of which is uh, is Brie, because apparently she did not seem super threatening. Um, I'm not surprised by that either. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> dreading this moment. Come on, you're big and tough. Full plate, it'd be fine. fine. But, uh, but yeah, it certainly, it. Is, uh, it certainly is Varen that gets... Uh, it's one of these uh, these shots from these guys. Thunk. It, it doesn't do much, I don't think. A degree. A degree uh, would deal you five points of damage. With piercing what? Hmm? 
Yeah. On this type piercing. of crossbow, there's no piercing. Okay, just one. Oh, it's sure. a light crossbow. Okay. Right. Uh, so that's the next one. We'll do the same thing. Mm, that's three degrees. Three degrees is fifteen okay. points. All right. Take four points of damage. That one it's... dies when Varen Flowers finally gets his turn. <laughs> it is worth noting <laughs> that when they have shot, they basically spend spend their less action to reload. Uh, oh, okay, so they can keep shooting. Yeah. They, they, are, they are faster to reload, these ones, than the, than the bigger ones. Yep. This guy does the same thing. And I keep saying find penalty die, that's not what I want. That's the exact same role. So. Okay. Yeah. This one is the last the last guy who was shooting uh, Alaric. He hasn't really noticed his, his friends are dead, so uh, he'll, he'll let that go. To be ten, which does not pierce your armor. Nope. And now he's like, shit. Now she looks over to see like direction of the archer, yeah. like ducking down again, probably. Right. Ren. Um, is it considered like difficult? Um, is it, like, dif- is it difficult to like move up towards the archers or the crossbowmen? It is, but not enough to really give you a penalty. Okay, I just need to know if I need to make a check or this, slow this down stuff or... here is impassable. But this stuff here, you can move. It just kind of gives them, like, yeah. They would have a higher ground, basically, if you fight them there. Okay. Just I just need to know in case I need to, like, climb check or something. No, that's fine. You're not trying to be stealthy. You're just kind of holding through all of it. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's fine. Um, okay. So let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead, then. And... Mm. See what exactly? How exactly do I want to do that? Uh, I think I'm just going to sprint. Uh-huh. So you sprint right. up right, right like this into their faces. Write your label that you sprinted, so we remember that they get penalties to killing you. Yep, that is the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> now they're like, oh god, there's two. What the fuck? There's two so archers and there's after you. Well. Uh, yeah, but, uh, let me just remind myself here about uh, the reach rules. Um, below, hey. one yard below or one yard above, they take a penalty yes. die. Remember, this is yep. the man who has impaled a knight in the Grand Melee. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. So, uh, so it turns out that Doran right now is at his optimum reach, so he'll just stab at this guy. Because <laughs> he Fuck himself is hell. using a pike. He's a oh. pike knight. You piece of shit. <laughs> He's he protecting rise, all of like, this area uh, here. Sir Astro and Tyrell just sort of like step out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> As the pike They're comes used to flying. Fight, and that's why he likes, yeah. he generally is the guy in the back. And that's not just because it's, he's a bit of a loner. It's also because he has a pike to stab people with. Such uh, stabbing. And that certainly is three degrees success, which with which he does uh, 21 point damage. Uh, with with which means that this uh, this this mercenary pikeman here uh, gets a pike through his throat. Uh, oh, the irony! And, and like, <laughs> he grabs his grabs his neck and like makes strange sounds as the pike is yanked out again. And basically, basically kneeling down, moving moving behind the cart a little bit, using it as cover. Uh, it is very difficult to use a pike that size. It's very much sort of a a step back, step back, step back, prepare then thrust sort of thing. Uh, so he doesn't really fence a lot with it or anything, and and so it works best if you can, like if if they get too close, he can't do anything. So, yeah. Sure, I play Fountain Blade. Okay, over here shooting at Ashra. <laughs> You're shooting at the Lord Tyrell. Oh, you Fu- are. Yeah. <laughs> fucking kill him. Alaric's gonna be pissed. Oh dear. It's not Pierce's armor though. Uh, the other one is doing the same thing. Okay. That's what he was prepared to do. Piercing armor at 100 yards. <laughs> He's got Valyrian sure. steel armor. That's what it is. <laughs> Valyrian steel armor. <laughs> I do not think. So Ashra has that. No. To cut yourself <laughs> on it all the time. Bree. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> oh. Fate is whimsical today. You know. 
<laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I should take take less time with my turn. Um, so these these pike guys. Then I would, uh, if I wanted to move around, I would like like they would get like a free attack against me, right? Because I'm certainly within their reach. You are yeah, too I'm far to within their reach. Yeah, you have to okay. be in their effect. I, I, green I'm guy simpler. behind here uh, would with a penalty die. Okay. Because you're five away from him, but the other guys, they they can't like their pikes are too long for them to really stab right. you with them. All right. So, so they also I... have hand axes, but they haven't drawn them. Right. Uh, if I took a penalty die, could I move with my completely disabled veteran mercenary and attack with like my other fist? If I just took a penalty die, <laughs> sure, or would I do that? Okay. Might do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like you know, like, like basically trying to fight around her own cover, effectively. <laughs> Um, uh, and that guy would get his attack against me. Uh, what? That'd be one degree of success. He'd be looking to beat a combat defense of ten. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Which does not pierce your armor. Okay. And then, like with her other fist, like attacking around her own like human shield, she seeks like just with like two of them because that would be hard to maintain. So she'll probably just try to down this guy. Uh-huh. Attempt to anyway. A dual wield people. A dual wield with a twenty-five. Uh, 25 against that guy. Uh, that would be 4 degrees. Okay, that would be 28 points of damage. That's like consists of a low blow to the to the crotch, kick his dick, so that he bends over and then gouges his eyes out. Because she didn't have her gloves on, so it's her sharp fingers. <laughs> yeah. I approve. And like blood like gets on her silk and she frowns. <laughs> How much damage did you deal with that? 28. Well, yeah, Oof. got screwed. <laughs> yep. Kick the dick. Stumbles back and falls and down and dies. Mm-hmm. No, uh, just to make sure that her her new friend has a good view. That'll end my turn. <laughs> well, these ones will lose an error, uh, a bolt against uh, Alaric. Sure. And one against Varen. They're getting all the good rolls against me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Very annoying. <laughs> they, probably going to have to take an injury from that. They, they probably resent you because of the fact that you could have joined us. You speak our language. You understand. It is, uh, that is, uh, it is 15 points again, of which you would get four. Yeah, so I'm going to have to take an injury here, I think. All right. You take an injury and you won't... Yeah, you take an injury, you won't take anything, so... Yeah, yeah. Got to do that. God damn it. Red bait on. Luckily, all these guys are too armored to care for those attacks of opportunity that these guys would usually love to do. Don't uh, don't bleed all over the silk. I'll still be a little bit cautious. But wait, is this our cart, by the way? Yep. Yes. Yeah. That's an amazing cart. It's a pretty good cart. Yeah. Full silk, it turns out. Mm-hmm. He'll, just, he'll just charge this guy over here. Pike's like clanking off his armor. They're like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> they usually would have set them for charge, basically, and get like tons of bonuses for people running towards them. But turns out that they feel pretty safe with all these crossbowmen. Yeah. That's a dangerous thing when you feel safe. Who would be so stupid as to what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not going well for that guy. He's, he's missing the helper just comes down on him, cutting through the pike and into the guy. Eaton moving it sort of very gracefully. He's very good with it, though Though he generally doesn't like showing it off. Yeah, so Ashra sort of, uh, you know, takes the, the arrows, or the bolts to his shield. He always does blog a lot with his shield. And he will just sprint over here to these two. Just love me, see me fighting myself. Any battle try <laughs> to go along with that, is it? Like, Ashra tar- charges? It seems like he would have done something like for Tyrell, but it becomes like, hmm. And then he, like, moves over. <laughs> he's really <clears throat> used to it, but, like, he doesn't, Yeah. He's fighting it. He has control. Yeah. 
Let's see here. That would be 16. Actually, be enough to. Yeah, all right. Manzer doesn't wear heavy enough armor, so when he when he moves in, he actually gets stabbed a few times, and that hurts him. Uh, it almost I almost think he likes that though. Like he would he, he wants. That. <laughs> I mean, he still it's like it's more like he has a lot of stamina and he has to to like move himself out of the way and such because he doesn't get injured or anything yet. He just. Has to, uh, has to I, deal I, with yeah, it. I know how much help he has. <laughs> as he, uh, as he move up, moves up with his, uh, with his long sword and uh, swings it at them. I thought he was just gonna pummel them. He can, but uh, there is really actually not a lot of difference for him, except his uh, his long sword is uh, is castle forged. So oh, he's he's distant, so. Uh, uh, so yeah, he he is very good with it. He's uh, excellent with it. Oh yeah, so I can see that. He kills the guy. Five is... and six land. Jesus. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. It is. Uh, it is. Yeah. Rare to say the least. As Pikeman, just like the position he's in. He can stop by trying to stab at Varen, because he's within reach. Of course. That he's guy big and their super weakest scary. Oh, <laughs> uh, he has to absorb everything, goddamn. That's four degrees. Uh, that is then 24 points of damage. Oof. <laughs> Welcome, like, you're like so Calf gets lacerated. Uh, that's, Oof. A wound. that's a wound. Well, oh, what about it? Right. Say, Jesus Christ, he, stop uh, hitting me, please. <laughs> try to move backwards. Actually, no. He'll try to stay there and keep you within his reach to, to potentially stab you when you try to leave. Alaric? What about there's like two pikemen who are the same color? Oh, there? yeah. That's true. Yeah. This one stabs at Alaric. Sure. You're stabbing the log. Commander, or... Oh, wait. <laughs> He's stabbing oh, at some the... mercenary oh, guy. All, their, all the True. good rolls are going against you, Goku. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. All the shit rolls against Alaric. <laughs> I, I, I imagine this Alaric is just parrying and being amazing while Varys just taking everything. Yeah. Like, oh, God! Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, would you actually like to have initiative? Uh, two degrees is 12 points of damage. 12? All right, I'll take one half. Full plate. So it does one health damage. Yep. Quack. And uh, then he will come and uh, join Mansa Legard up here. He will take a, a point of damage. More. Point. Okay. So, as they can get two degrees on his combat defense with their passive attack, and that's enough to pierce his armor by one. Joyful. So, you know, it's not amazing, but... Uh... Uh, oh, well. And with his um, Warhammer, he will strike out at this pikeman. There. Whack. Yup, yup, that certainly uh, takes care of him. <laughs> Draw me How much like damage do you do with it? Uh, six base. Uh, okay, so that is four times six, which is more than he has. Yeah. That's as much damage as I do with my punchies. Yeah. Poor guy. I would do more with my greatsword, but you know, restrict. Yeah, you're like you're, you're, yeah, These you're ones are all dead, so they can't really do much. Varen. Yes. Don't and Larry will like point up do... the mountain. <laughs> yeah, well, you uh... might point him up the mountain, but they're like, I'm a get you. I'm gonna get you! Poke, poke, He's only gonna do one damage, probably. Yeah, he'll do one. We have the same, probably. Basically Somehow the same stats. Better. Yeah, this guy. I, I need to move <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, it's either charge this guy or run up here, basically. I mean, Maybe it's your destiny to fucking, like, clear the, the forest of these. <laughs> Like sprint here maybe, and go. Maybe. <laughs> I, I can't really do that though because it's a greater action. Yeah, it's a greater action. Damn. 
Yeah, what if yeah, you spend two destiny it. points to get two lesser actions? I mean, what's your what's your movement at? Like your base 30. movement? No, it, it's five. Five. Oh, okay. So I I can. I mean, this guy, but... you could charge that guy. Yeah, yeah. Or you could just go would, and. Would be sprint. really fun to. Can I actually spend two destiny points to do that? I. You're only allowed <laughs> to spend, spend like a like a, a single destiny point at any time for any one of the following effects. But if it was okay. really your destiny, if you wanted to spend two of your destiny points right now, maybe Mana Guy would let you. Uh yeah sure. <laughs> so wait, wasn't it? Well now if I can have to then. I'm lost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, so describe how awesome fucking Varen Flowers looks in this moment of destiny here. All right. Explain so, what's going uh, Baron, on. Have it, Baron have it thinking all of these fucking hits from everyone around him is just so fucking pissed off and uh, just darts away from uh, this pikeman here, getting uh, like slightly scratched on the arm while doing so. Rushes up the hill and basically goes through uh, a few small trees up here just to... Uh, tumbling them down really and uh, getting up here and then we're gonna flourish like uh, swings his pole legs around in a circle and tries to sweep the legs of these three crossbowmen over here three of them yes. they're like reloading yep <laughs> so basically you're going through the tower cells I guess <laughs> mm -hmm. we're attempting to legs. yep let's see here so that's now, it's a minus what for targeting three people? Okay. Uh, minus six. Okay. So that's a minus seven in total. Alright. Because of the with, it, with, a, with, with a penalty die, too, from your wound. Yeah. This might not go well, but... Fuck it. <laughs> it's part of your destiny as you burn. It'll be beautiful. Spend two destiny points. <laughs> uh, you you smack around, but... into, into the shield and just leave, like, a scratch across them. All three. Yeah. They are as, they, as they get as they get there. Hmm? Uh, uh, you don't. Hit? You no. You just oh, like no. scratch the shields. As as they get their bolts in their crossbows. Yes. And uh, I look at you. I have sprinted though, so that's something. Yeah, <laughs> you should add that to your. Yes. Yeah. yes. So so for what happened, if anyone missed that, is Gogur spent two of his destiny points to sprint up there and then take a greater action to do his twirly pole arm thing. Which didn't pierce their combat defense. Yeah. Hmm. Guys, go on. So yeah. does that stay the other? All right. Well, uh, Kevin is pretty sure that his brother can oh, handle just these. State. Just write it in the label. Okay. Uh, Kevin is pretty sure that his brother can handle all these uh, two crossbowmen he's engaged with. He has seen him fight these people before. Uh, and so he will concentrate on the ones not currently engaged, which is only two. Would, would, um, would nine, six, and five be able to shoot Varen? Or are they in close combat? Yes, they can shoot. Uh, but they are also, yes, in close combat. Okay. can shoot close combat, there's no penalty. We will concentrate on crossbowman two first. This guy. Uh, huh? This guy. Yep. And... Uh, I do have some advantage being up here, so I might There's as well. No hide advantage to being to range weapons. It's only no, a hide. It's only a higher grand advantage oh, yes, for yes, fighting. Yes, from, yes, yes, that is true. That is true. Um, and they're not surprised anymore, so I don't have a surprise. So going two arrows is a bit risky, but uh, all about the risk, man. Just looking at some magnificent shit. Yeah, you yes. Try. yes. Not a waste at all. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty good. I am also aiming, so it's it's pretty good here. Pretty good chance. We'll do a double arrow. Um, That's the... just a lesser action. Hmm? It's just a lesser action to do, yeah? Uh, I don't know, actually. Let's, let us double check this. Double shot is on page 81. As a greater action, you may fire two arrows at once. Roll okay. two tests using your full marksmanship, but take a penalty die at each test. Okay. You can't aim at the same time. You, yeah, you won't be able to aim. Uh, ba, 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 let's do that. And we have a modifier because my bow is actually castle forged these days. Uh, all right. We'll go first arrow on, on the Merc. Uh, unengaged. How will that do him? 
Uh, that guy gets one degree. That would be seven. Does that kill him? No. Far from okay. it. Oh, no. Stuck your bow in the forge. <laughs> Just pierce his armor, though. So. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll hit him with a second arrow as well, then. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, yeah. That was a bad. That was a bad shot. That hits the shield. It's gets okay. stuck in there. Mm. Oh, that's it. From now on, we'll single shotting these these dudes. They have too much armor to double shot them. I will panic shoot at Varen because uh... I I did forget my roll should also be eleven because I also have a castle force weapon, but that probably wouldn't have made a difference. Doesn't make a difference now. Well, technically, uh, he sprinted, right? Max one die. And he will. Uh, yeah, he, he did sprint. Yeah. <laughs> this guy will will uh, will instead of reloading, uh, he'll just like aim and shoot. Uh, because he just wants you to die, if, 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 he, if you'd be so kind. Yeah. That is I three degrees, I believe. Five. It's fucking rolls. <laughs> Which is 15. Uh, you didn't include the penalty die. Yeah, you didn't do the penalty die. It'll be only die when it's dropped off a of five, so it'll yeah. be 17. 17, that is uh, only... Um, two degrees. Yeah. Yeah, two degrees, right? Yep, two degrees, lower it by one degree. Yeah, just which, lower so, which it by means one that uh, that you would only take one point of health damage. Okay. I think <laughs> that's a bit better. Is that true? No, you actually take nothing. Yeah. Okay. Because that right, doesn't pierce your armor. Because these guys are not that cool. This guy will shoot, and I'll just make it like a little X here because he doesn't have a reload. This guy here will, however, shoot and reload. He still believes in his in his cause. Uh. Varen, and that is a complete miss because I also forgot yes. the penalty die. And the last guy here Actually, is engaged with Ren. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess that's what he'll try to, to deal with. Is this running guy? It's a miss. It's a miss. Right, well. I have, I have 17 right now. He will, he will reload his crossbow. Where's the other guy here? Uh. His friends are dead, and that archer over there is uh, is dangerous. He doesn't see this going in the right direction for his people, so uh, so he's just sort of gonna he's gonna take the crossbow and just like chuck it, chuck it down the cliff there, and then just like move into the wall, uh, like and just like cover himself with his shield. He doesn't <laughs> he doesn't want to fight anymore. So entering his entrance. Yep. I'll fucking go up there and break that shield off of him. He just wants to make sure he doesn't get, like, shot for surrendering. He's not into that. Ren. I will, I will, I will accept his terms of surrender. Yep. And I will go for attacking mercenary crossbowman 1 instead. As is reasonable. Sure. He hasn't surrendered. He's reloaded. He's preparing to shoot again. Mm-hmm. How dare he? Um, I'm slightly worried because they have so much defense, but eh, we'll have to manage. That would be a degree. That would be five damage. Five damage just doesn't pierce their armor. Yes, I realize this. Yep. And, hmm. well, I can still keep him busy. And I will acrobatically defense. Uh -huh. Move. Over here, it should be no. That is far from enough. All right. Well, then I'll just move into range. Yeah. Uh, this crossbowman here. I'm gonna try shooting at this guy. It's a random hedge knight, probably. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it didn't go well at all for him. Uh, his friend here. Probably it's kind of like the red cap there. He doesn't really see this being a great thing. Uh, he could probably escape if he's lucky. So, I'll uh, actually try to move. Ashra here would get a pretty good attack, actually. Like 20. How many degrees are dead? Which is 2 degrees, which is, which is just enough to kill him. 
So he tries basically to begin to move to like slide down the uh, the cliff here. Mm-hmm. And he goes uh, a lot faster. And then he like gets gets just like stabbed, and tumbles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the water. He's tumbled down, and died. The other guy just sort of looks at him like a little panicky. Mm-hmm. Bree. Uh, Bree is uh, going to pass as she spins her entire turn. In fact, I didn't even get the bonus dice. She like directs like the veteran mercenary's head to like sweep over the scene and say, "I suppose you were right about one thing. We were doing a bit more than carrying silk." That's the end of her turn. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, well, the veteran pisses this guy's within your reach, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He doesn't like that one bit. Doesn't like that at all, actually. Um, his options are limited. How can he get out of this alive? He's not sure. <laughs> so I suppose for now he'll try to, to shoot at Varen. Minus one die, he's printed. 14. Two degrees, which won't do anything. Okay, over here... He's also in your range. He's even better in your range. Um, you know, maybe Varen will be kind to him, and he'll just throw his crossbow at the other guy and, like, hope that that'll distract Varen. And then can... I think Varen might take his free attack at this point. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have to. Yeah. What do you think, Gogar? Are you there? Are you muted? God damn it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he will definitely attack him. Okay, what's your passive passive attack? Uh, It'd be four so times you're fighting ability. Okay, uh, 20. All right, that uh, will do a degree. Oh. To the... Yeah, yeah. A degree got... which is 10, I think, yeah, for you? Ten. Ten. Damn. He's not dead from that, but he, uh, yeah. he is uh, not truly alive either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't get the bonus dice towards that, like... right? Uh, uh, according, to, according to the specialty section in page 54, uh, your, your rank determines your ability, your ability providing bonus dice. When, whenever your opponent rolls against your passive defense, you may add a number of bonus dice from a specialty that most closely applies to the passive. For example, if a, park spy, a spy tries to sneak past you, he rolls stealth against your awareness. Assuming you have awareness 4, it would be four, it'd be 16, 4 times your rank 4. However, if you have bonus dice to be noticed, you would instead be 18. 16 plus 2 equals 18. Okay. Page. So you just add the number of dice. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so you then. add the number of bonus dice. Uh, 23 then. I wouldn't be enough to do another degree. Oh, okay. Sad. It's good to see. As he, like, like sprints, sprints down the road, basically. Let's put him there. Well, hmm. <laughs> he's, he's like, right. He, like, throws the shield as well. <laughs> he's done with that. I might get paid if I go back to Lannisport and tell them all what happened here. Don't get paid enough to die. <laughs> Arrow in the back. <laughs> oh, this guy, yeah, this guy's gonna die too. Because that's what happens when you try to stand up. There's people who are vastly better than you are. That is two degrees, which is for this guy 20 points of damage. Which means he's dead. Helbert, man. B-E-D. Asher turns around. Looks like... I mean, he basically sprinted over here. Now everyone's dead, so... Uh... <laughs> I'll just... It's the life of an unmounted knight. this guy, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So here. Reese got by that guy. This guy is still alive, so he will try to kill him. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, that'll do it. Mm. <laughs> and now they're all dead. Alaric. Uh, I mean... <laughs> uh, uh, go, go get him! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he will... 
like we will uh, over here I guess and sprint <laughs> up here sort of maybe yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> why not Marky sprinted yep way down this guy's by all dead let's remove those then these guys are all dead look at those Baron yes. you've no longer sprinted I haven't. Uh, so can you shoot the guy who ran? Or should I run after him? Uh, I, I I'm think pretty confident that, that Jonas, jo Jonas could shoot at that guy. He's out He's there about, on the road. Like, I'll, three I'll take more about. shooting if need be. But. Okay. I will uh, try to t attack both these guys then. Mm -hmm. at, a, uh, at a minus four, minus five because of your injury. Yeah, but but force. Yes, so it's just a minus four with a penalty bag, and yep. now you haven't sprinted. Woo! Nope. <laughs> Clank! Do it. Don't do it. God damn it. Well, this is gonna hurt. Hey, they were impressed by what you did, man, oh. so... Q. Yes, sure. Uh, so you said that you, I can still shoot the runner in, like, next turn, right? Uh, shoot now. Probably, but should we now is better. All right, I should know that. Get behind bushes and shit. You, you might go or like slide down the cliff or something. Yeah. Nah. Get away! Right now you can see him. Down he goes. You. That is three degrees. Did you take the penalty die? Damage. Uh, he, I don't have. He's, he's doing single shots now instead of double shots. Uh, the guy sprinted though. Uh, oh, that. that'd be why. Uh, be a minus four to that, so twenty-one. Uh, he has very little health left though after the whole. Being cut he also, in the back, so he uh, also did chuck his shield as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So he is most certainly dead. It's not it's like an arrow in the back, something. Yeah, it just pierces pierces him straight in the back and just falls down like. <gasps> uh, these three uh, surrender as well. They're not into this. The rest of them actually really just surrender. I don't think they All can right. get away. As they like drop their crossbows and just like, you know, move back, trying to disengage. Right up here says, uh, "We don't get paid enough for this. We we don't have any more trouble. You can take what you want. We just right, sure, yes, win." Get over by the cart, all, all of you. By oh, the cart, okay. I'm guessing no. they spoke Valerian. So. No blood uh, on the silk! Ah. They spoke like, they spoke like by broken, the cart, not on the cart. Broken, broken <laughs> Westerosi. Uh, yeah. Even they'll like, they'll like trek up, over there. Walks up to the others and looks at them and said, We. What do we do with them? Kill them? Uh, right. Tip them over the cliff? So Eden looks over. She just like gives you a dark look. Good, good things to say around the honorable chivalrous. <laughs> ah, <laughs> fuck the old guy. Just like stand over here. And with any trouble, you could just leave. We'll say that the Ironborn did this. No one has to know. Easy to explain if we're alive, yes? Some of us, anyway. Someone's going to find this. It's not going to take long. People travel this road much. Oh, Information's going to be valuable. We can tip you over sure. the edge down into the ocean. No one will find you down there. So we're expected to be here. By the travelers on this road? Hardly think so. We're expected to bring taxes, goods. Yes, and when you don't, they will label you as an outlaw mercenary group, run away with all the gold you stole from the from the people traveling this road, as they will no doubt uh, say when asked. Well, we'll do we'll do that if we'll actually do it. Then, if that would be better for you, we'll just leave. You can keep him too. Yeah, like look at the veteran. Just doing what we're paid for. Keep a look over to the others. Work and such. 
he's a commoner here, strictly speaking. He can't really take this decision, but he he's making fairly clear that he thinks we should just off these guys and toss them in the, in the water. Uh, we accept that they're surrender, so they're under our protection now. We can't really bring them with us, though. He looks towards Alaric. Alaric frowns and says, uh, if only it was as simple as prisoners in the Red Mountains. Just give, give them some water bed. and let them have their chance. But hmm. too much of a calculated <laughs> risk. I should have found one. Says, uh, I should let I them go. I prefer letting them go as well. They've surrendered. That's enough. If nothing else, I don't want to go into this mission with a potential reputation of killing our prisoners. Mm. France, it could end badly should things not turn out as we wanted. Uh, right now, we at least have the option of surrendering and getting good terms as nobility. From, uh, <laughs> from Keep a look from, up to Ren again. <laughs> from, from behind her new friend, Bree pops up. What should we leave him with then, Lord Tyrell? This is nothing. You've walked into a town with nothing before, Alaric. People don't approach you easily. Alaric mm. nods. Uh, Bree uh, pats like her, her new friend on the shoulder and says... Hope you have that retirement money somewhere else. Doesn't say anything. Or he looks sourly at his men. The cowards that should they probably, are. Should probably tell them to head south then. She looks to Brian says, uh, My lady, perhaps it would be more fitting if we took care of this. Uh, we should go a little up the road. Uh, Bree says, oh, Certainly. And she will almost gingerly, like, release the old man. Stumbles. Stumbles over here. Pretty, like, walks up and, like, looks away. <laughs> so. As I know how fast I can take all of this off. You should get to it. The other says, uh, we should throw the bodies over the edge, I think. All right. Make Where sure that else? there's nothing here to pick up to do anything with. Yeah. You can just chuck bodies. You have no problem with that. Yeah, I can't really move them. But we'll yeah. start doing that as well. And all the like crossbows and pieces of armor and the bolts, whatnot. Whatever can be found, chucked down into the sea. So that's what's down here. Yeah. It rolls down the grassy, grassy side here. These guys, uh, at least if you would agree with it, Trashford basically wishes to strip them of everything and throw it in the sea. Let them walk naked back to wherever they want to go. So they're not following you, certainly. Sure. They might tell someone that would be bad, but... Jasper doesn't want to lose his honor over mercenaries. Yeah. I'm not gonna argue. Keevan is in no position to argue. <laughs> Although he obviously doesn't like it. Adar kind of looks at Eden and Asher and says, In that case, let the father judge them. Kind of steps away. I'll just, uh... Praise the spring going. She looks at the scowl. You might have a few days of sun. So like move away like like you know beaten dogs really. Tell 
of the road. Unpleasant thing to deal with, but alas. Yeah. Very well, I'll try to examine how grievous his wound is. <laughs> or more precisely, Rain is going to go around and examine everyone who got injured. Sure. <laughs> so, Varen. I, think... uh, I, I don't know. Did Mansa get injured at all? I know he got. Uh, oh, no, he just oh, yeah. got like winded. Yeah, like the, like, like yeah, the wind knocked out of him. He's, he's yeah, difficult did, I... to wound. Yeah, I just didn't more know how to wound anyone. Yeah, I just didn't know what degree he got wounded. Okay. <laughs> Portrait, His skill will... set is very limited, but he's very good at fighting people. Like, like in one to one, punch punch out. That's his. That's his thing. That's what he does. <clears throat> I suppose I will examine Baron's wounds once again. <laughs> Which how 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 difficult would you say it say it is? The default DC is twelve, but if it's obvious, the DC might go as low as zero. You can set the DC to be <laughs> I will take a nine. Okay, DC nine. That means that is okay. I get my, I get both my bonus dice. Extra pike in my armpit. Because the number of degrees of success depends now gives me more bonuses if I get more degrees. Yeah. Well, you won't be able to test or recover his wound for a bit. It's true. Well, yeah, that's true. But, you know. By injury, injury. maybe. It's, it's good to keep track of it. We can test it at this point. Want me to take his injury? Yeah, just do it because it's gonna be within the within the day. So yes, <laughs> right? Yeah, twenty eight is a yes. As you uh, as you basically push on, leaving this little, little checkpoint here behind you. Now the plan was to follow basically the road the entire way, and uh, well, as it turns out, further further on. Um, you do. You just, I assume, clean yourselves up. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I was going to specifically mention that. Yeah. Yeah. I. I uh, you didn't say it specifically, so of course you're all full of guts everywhere. Uh, no, uh, any sensible person would uh, would clean yourself up, and it is something you're prepared for most likely as well. Um, it is. It is a knight's duty to look fashionable, and you cannot do that if you have blood everywhere. Well, you know, most knights at least think so. Nice of the reach, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, traveling north, you begin to basically now get into the forestry area. Craig Hall is going to be very close uh, at this point. Um, basically, we can be right next to it, or maybe even in the castle town of, of Craig Hall. Uh, or you could, of course, push on a little bit for the night just to get a little bit of distance there. Uh, which is what Ashra would certainly suggest. Yeah. He doesn't. He's just. Uh, want to deal with good. mercenaries is one thing, but triggering like a prepared, armed, Craig Hall guard, and their yeah. and their sire, the Red Tusk, is not something he he rather he would relish. Uh, yeah. Much as he of course thinks that this team could take him, uh, most people really. Um, they will have lots of other opportunities to do just that. Just that. <laughs> moving, uh, moving further north, uh, the road goes sort of through the forest, but it's still a great road. It's well, well kept, and uh, yeah, you do see a few villages that would maybe have been perfect to go and find a disguise in. How difficult as that might have been, uh, but as you have one, uh, you don't really necessarily feel the need. There aren't really more checkpoints, though you do see like a few military patrols moving about. The consistency of those um, are a bit like the mercenaries, but perhaps that's more of a coincidence. Or maybe the, the Westerlings just, or Westerlanders, I keep calling them Westerlings, it's only a family that's that. But maybe they just appreciate people who like crossbows. The general composition of the guard patrols you see here are, uh, are indeed crossbowmen, but these ones are uh, what you generally identify as Westerlander people. They have expensive armor, good armor, compared to what you'd find foot soldiers in the Reach having, meaning breastplates, basically. Uh, and then they carry uh, heavy crossbows. It's uh, very difficult to load them, but with them they can do horrendous damage, even to someone like wearing plate armor. Uh, 
it's not really a weapon you use on someone you don't want to kill, uh, generally. Uh, so these are definitely like soldiers. You don't really give heavy crossbows to peasants. It's, it doesn't really work out well. Beyond that, you uh, see uh, some of what is perhaps the uh, the personal guard of uh, <clears throat> the house of Craig Hall. Uh, moving about, they are mounted and seem to be using basically uh, basically large shields and long swords. But on their backs uh, and folded up, they also seem to have the infantry weapon of a large flail uh, kept with them. Again, something that has been adapted here uh, to take care of dealing with people in heavy armor, basically knights, as that has that's always really been the problem uh, that these people have trained to deal with. In their own way, these these guards, these personal guards, are also very heavily armored, in uh, not not really full plate, but certainly uh, plate plate mail. Uh, stacked up, also very ostentatious, nice little brazen color and everything. It's very fancy, little little tusks on their helmets. Uh, but as you uh, basically travel, you don't really catch too much attention from them. Uh, perhaps if the situation had been different, if, if, if you had had more wounds or had to have someone in the cart or so, I assume, of course, that, that Varian doesn't really show that he's wounded. He just sort of acts as normal. Uh, no, he definitely tries, tries to hide it, uh, wearing a cloak okay. all the time. Toughing yeah, it just, out. Just traveling, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Making, it, making it difficult for Ren to heal him, but uh, yeah, but, yeah. but not giving giving anything away. Uh, it's going right. to be the case. Sure. So basically, you get through this this border region without further incident. Uh, 